Hey guys, good morning. Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing, World Headquarters. Yes, it's a mess. We got back yesterday or Friday night from Grand, or actually the, not from Grand, but my boat and truck was still loaded from the regional tournament, so I have just thrown stuff down in here. But we got on the water yesterday for a little while, so I'm going to give you a Raven report. From what I saw, fishing's pretty fun. Uh, a lot of little fish, but we'll get to that in just a minute. So I had promised you guys, so in one of my last videos, I showed you that we now have Sam Rayburn University. You can get your degree from Sam Rayburn University here in beautiful Zavala, Texas. And we had the Bachelor in Brush Piles t-shirts available. These are 25 bucks a piece. We've got gray and blue. We've got a few more degrees now available for you. In addition to the Bachelor's in Brush Piles, we now have the Master's in Structure Fishing. Yes, you can have a master's degree from Sam Rayburn University. Or, for those of you shallow water guys, you can get your PhD. You can get your PhD in frog fishing from Sam Rayburn University. And for those of you who don't particularly don't want to declare a degree just yet, you can just be part of the team, the Fighting Bigfoots. Now, I only have a few of the Fighting Bigfoots shirt, but I ordered one because I wanted one. Obviously, I've got all of them, but I really wanted the Fighting Bigfoots. Uh, so all those, I've got large and extra large, gray and blue, okay? 25 bucks a piece includes shipping. So you just send, and, and we'll do it through PayPal. I would appreciate it if when you do that, if you would do the friends and family so I don't get dinged because I'm not trying to do this as a retail store. I'm just doing this for my buddies. And then a few of you still wanted Ken Smith Fishing t-shirts. I only have the grays in those. Those are just 20 bucks. So it's quite a bit more expensive to get the multicolor logo versus a single color logo. So those are all available to you. I am uh, Ken Smith Fishing at Outlook.com. Just shoot me an email or reach out to me on Facebook. Let me know you want one, where to mail it to, and I'll get you. I've got a different email address I use for PayPal. So uh, hope you like those. I've gotten great response. I've sold a bunch of the bachelors and brush piles. I have some left, though. So uh, let's go right to the Raven Report right here. And Oh, you know what? Before we do that, i got something else I want to show you guys. So I just got these uh, in the last couple of days. I was really excited about these, and I got to fish with them a little bit yesterday. Uh, Yamamoto has now come out with a – so everybody was throwing the Zacco as their – a lot of guys were throwing the Zacco as their trailer on Chatterbait specifically. And now Yamamoto has come out with a paddle tail. And i got to tell you, I fished with it yesterday a little bit. They really did not want the Chatterbait yesterday but it is really good looking. It's got that same breakovers that they had, the little cutouts in the tail, and, and man, it is just a really great looking wobble. So uh, if, you, uh, if you want some of those, those are obviously available at Yamamoto, um, uh, which is actually baits.com is all it is. Uh, though I thought those were really cool. I also ordered something I didn't even know they made, and I'll, I'll show you that to you. You guys know I don't do, matter of fact, I have never weighed a fish um, drop shotting in a tournament in my life. Now, that's probably more about where I fish than my inability with a drop shot because I can't catch them with a drop shot a little bit. But the little, a few times, and most of my drop shot fishing was actually on Texoma, but I've done it. One of my favorite colors is Morning Dawn, and I was kind of out of a couple of colors of Cinco, so I carry... They actually make 50 packs of Cinco's. So I ordered these from Yamamoto in black and blue flake. That's my go-to color until the sun gets up. So I go through a ton of these. And as I'm going through the colors, looking for that specific color, I realize, holy cow, there's a morning dawn color. Now, I threw it a little bit yesterday just out of curiosity. My sense is this bait's a little bit lighter. You could even feel it in your hand than the traditional Cinco colors. Uh, but it does sink. It's got the same wobble to it. So I'll be real curious as the fish come shallow next spring. I think that may be a great color. There's something about the way that color mutes as it sinks that is any of you drop shotters know is a cool deal. So there's, and it may have been available for five years. I just finally noticed it, that morning dawn color. So I thought those were two cool things. The new paddle tail Zacco and probably not new, but to me new, the morning dawn Cinco color. So anyway, that was just two more things I want to share with you. Let's go to the uh, footage and uh, the Rayburn report right now.
<laughs> oh, the little six cents crankbait. Are they on the orange? Hey, 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 hey. Well, you got all tangled up in the rod, you knucklehead. All right, well, welcome back to Texas, guys. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh leave him be. Uh, so, back from the miserable trip, which was actually miserable to Oklahoma for the BFL Regional. Finally got down here today to do a little fishing. And uh, just running some drains with a little six cent square bill, the 50, in a, in a bright orange crawl. I don't remember exactly the name of it. And that's about my 10th cast this morning. I, actually, I say morning, it's, uh, it's 11. So, we didn't get here to real late last night, but we were excited to get out this morning and I got to do a little unboxing. I've got, uh, I'm real excited. I've got the new Paddle Tail Zacco as well. Uh, which came from Yamamoto just this week that they're just out and uh, so I've got a chatterbait out and I've got my little square bell out and we're gonna fish around a little bit this morning and try to give you guys a lake report but just so you know uh, I did not check the water level I think it's still a few feet low I'll put that down below here but the water temp right here is 64.3 here in the low 50s and uh this is the time of year they should start munching. I came looking for grass and there's some, it's all real shallow, but there's a little bit of hydrilla in here. So we're gonna dive around a little bit, see what we can catch. And I brought the whole wrecking crew with me too. So, Oh, this is the other thing I'm trying out. So this is, uh, I had mentioned this rod before. This is that Mark Rose. This is the ledge. It's the Magnum Crankbait Rod 3. This is a, this is a really, really nice rod. One of the most expensive rods I've ever purchased. Anyway, uh, it's the Magnum rod. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, it's got a nice long handle on it, which I'm a big fan of, and I just like the rod. So I'm gonna fish with this some and see if it's gonna become uh, my over the top of the grass crankbait rod this spring. Bunch of fish out here schooling around in front of me. Hey, come on. And uh, they're between the hydrilla and the hay grass. I picked up my little suspending uh, quake. And that bait's on the market now, by the way. And that was the second bite in three casts. So let's see if they'll see if that's something they want. It's quite a bit bigger than what they're eating. I'm actually surprised he ate it. But uh Sure did. Hey, 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 Cody, I'm going to bonk you on the head. You don't stop that. Delay rig fish. So if you don't A-rig fish a lot, what you'll see is when I set the hook, I'm using that Bite Me uh, super sharp little bitty hook. Uh, 
and I just lean on them and I let them swim around because I've caught several, several. Matter of fact, when Skip Chancellor and I caught the 28 pounds down here to win the ice bowl a couple of Februarys ago, I had a bite on an A rig real deep. And uh, like right here, I've got a double. And uh, I didn't, I didn't pull on it real hard because I knew it wasn't a giant. Y'all stop it. And uh, I let that fish swim around for a couple seconds. And the, the first bite, I'm pretty sure, was the small one. It was a three pounder. And the second bite was a six pounder. And uh, you get that quite a bit once you fire that school up. If you'll let that bait stay down there. That second or third or fourth big fish will run up there and, and try to take that bait away from them. So, unless it feels like a giant, don't pull real hard on them. Just that little super needle sharp hook. They're hooked when you pull on them, and then you can just uh, you can hopefully catch a second or a third fish. That's a screw of the great big ones there, because that's about my fourth fight on that cast. see how I catch fish watching me but what I don't talk about it are the things that I did that didn't catch fish so let's go over those a little bit so this is Sunday October 10th 2019 lakes about three feet low water temp where I sit is uh, 67 degrees and uh, I got out this morning pretty late hard to get out of bed with that baby there to love that I went out on a couple of deep ridge lines and did some deep cranking, quite a bit of it actually, and did not uh, didn't have didn't have a bite. Probably did it for an hour and a half on one, two, three, three different places, uh, but lots and lots and lots and lots of bait out there, which is what took me out there. And I really kind of thought there would be a pad bite. The pads are starting to fall over a little bit but there's still plenty of good deep green pads. I'm sitting about seven feet of water and you can see I'm surrounded by pads. Uh, and I've done this since noon. No, that's not right. I've done this since about 11.30. So an hour and 15 minutes. And I've had uh, a swirl and two blow ups, but I'm not sure any of them were even bass. And if they were, there was no size to any of them. So. Uh, does not appear now we got a massive cold the big first really really big one you know hard freeze coming this week so that's gonna obviously probably kill some pads but gonna, gonna really change what's going on um, but it's interesting I you know where I see bait versus where I don't see bait uh, I mean I really would have thought this area would be full of bait and I've seen no bait at all um, so Based on what I saw yesterday, uh, you absolutely, which is a big surprise, you've got to find a bait. And if you can find bait, you can find fish around them. Uh, there is a fair amount of hydrilla, mid lake, and up the St. Ange uh, St. Augustine arm, or the ash arm as it's called. Uh, but none of it's more than six or seven or eight feet deep. That would be really deep grass. The best stuff's in three or four feet of water. It sets up real nice for a trap bite on a couple of those places. If the water comes up in, you know, December, January, it doesn't kill it, but uh, for now, it's tough to get a bite if you can't find bait. So, 
uh, that's that's my lake report for the week I'm gonna keep fishing a little while longer and if I get some bites I'll throw them in here but uh, Sunday's been really slow on me I didn't chase the bait I tried to find we've got the outlaw outdoors next Sunday so I was trying to find some deep fish that'd be a little more dependable with this cold weather coming and you know Rayburn being Rayburn stuff I fished through today that I didn't get a bite on with that big cloud 25 crankbait uh, next weekend every chance in the world it's full three and four and five pounders so I'll probably make a pass over it again because there was bait out there maybe they just weren't on the feed so thanks for tuning in guys if you don't subscribe please do uh, you can click the little bell and every time I post up a new video which I try to do about twice a week you'll get a notification and I appreciate you guys and we'll see y'all on the lake next weekend by the way speaking of which don't forget next saturday is the uh, bassmaster college state qualifier the winning team oh, oh there was a little swipe again didn't look like much the little the winning team you can tell how few bites i've had that i swung on the first little bite right there uh the winning team will get uh right into the bassmaster national championship and I will also, if you want one of those t-shirts, oh, one of those t-shirts I featured earlier, I will have those t-shirts at that weigh-in for sale. As I've told you before, this is not your normal weigh-in. It'll be, uh, I believe it's at Umphreys. I'll post below if it's not at Umphreys, but I'm pretty sure it's at Umphreys next weekend. It'll be on Saturday. College kids from all over the country, mostly from the region. But we've got a special prize for best hair, specifically best mullet. It's a lovely prize package they put together, by the way. So we're going to have a little bit of fun, and uh, I'm going to grow my hair out all week long. You're going to be really surprised how beautiful a mullet I'm featuring next weekend at that way. And so if you've ever wanted to see a 57-year-old man in a mullet, and you don't have time to get to the Walmart in Nacogdoches. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean, but true. Uh, come next weekend and I've got a really really lovely mullet I'll be wearing so. and then don't forget Sunday of course we got the open tournament James and I'll be fishing so hopefully we'll see y'all there at the uh, at the open tournament on Sunday as well come join us I think we'll have a good time guys great weather guys we'll see y'all next week